Visitors to the South Dakota Capitol and Pier can now see a whole building as it looked back in 1911. That's because the last restoration project, the Supreme Court Law Library, is finally complete. Capitol Land's Travis Fossing has the story. Former Chief Justice David Gilbertson always hoped to restore the Supreme Court Law Library just like every other room in the Capitol building. Two things stopped that was all these law books that we had no place to put. And secondly, we didn't know what the original law library even looked like. Computers took care of the first problem. It's still a functioning law library. In the back room, we have the computers for that kind of legal research. And the older lawyers like me that still like to use law books, they're there. The second problem was solved by the discovery of a photograph from 1911, showing the original law library in all its glory. Without the photograph, we don't even start. Gilbertson was recently honored for his leadership in the library project. His portrait now hangs on the wall. A little bit of gray in the beard, a little bit of gray on the side, not all white like it is today. The people doing the restoration work discovered some hidden gems. The names of early territorial judges were covered behind bookshelves and old paint. One by one, workers recovered a dozen historical names. Oh, it was great fun. I mean, uh, it was kind of like, okay, what's the next name going to be? We're sitting in the Brookings County Courthouse. Brookings County is named after Wilmot Brookings, an early territorial judge. Because Gilbertson led the restoration work, he now gets his name up on the wall as well. There's all these judges and justices from the 1880s, 1870s, and then on the very end it says Gilbertson. <laughs> I don't know if I merit that or not, but the name is up there. Travis Fossing, Kelloland News. Seems like books these days are just decorative more than useful. <laughs> I'm sure, sure they're useful too. Useful yeah. too. Well, if you want to see for yourself, the law, law library is now open to the public. Well, as